everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and I've got a great project for you today. Let's take a look at this quilt behind me. Isn't this fun? Now, what makes this project so special is the ombre fabric. And an ombre fabric is a fabric that goes from light to dark, all in one piece, in one strip. So to make this quilt, what you're gonna need is one roll of two and a half inch strips. And we have used the Ombre Confetti Metallic. And this is by V & Co for Moda. And it's just a beautiful line. Um, you're gonna need a little more than half of one of these rolls because you're gonna have one strip for every two of these. And you're also gonna use that for your inner border right here and the little squares that we put on our blocks. For this outer border out here, you're gonna need a yard and a quarter and it's a nice big six inch border. But let me show you the back because you can see the ombre on the back. See how it goes from light to dark? That is what ombre looks like and that's what makes it so much fun to work with. So to make this quilt, what we're gonna do is we are gonna sew strips together and we're gonna sew them in groups of threes like this. Now, take a look at this strip because it goes from, they go from dark to the lightest in the middle and then back out to the dark again. And so that just makes it really cool because you get all different colors in your blocks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two strips and you want them to be um, two different colors. And so we've got this red one and this blue one just like this. And we're gonna sew a strip right down the center of those. So we're gonna put a white strip in here and I'm just gonna lay this on here like this. And we're gonna go to the sewing machine and we're gonna sew a quarter of an inch all the way down the side. And then we'll add our red strip to the other side. So we're gonna start right here, line them up selvage to selvage. And then I just kind of come lean back a little bit and line up my strip for a little bit and then just kind of let it sail. All right, I'm gonna stop and check and make sure it's still together. And we are doing great. Alrighty, once we get to the end of our strip, we're gonna open this up and we wanna make sure that the white strip is in the middle. So I'm gonna lay these like this. We're gonna put this red one on top of here. Let me move this so you can see this better. We're gonna put this red one right on top of here like this and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna sew a quarter of an inch right down the side and make a strip set of three. Alrighty, line this up. Okay, so now we're done with our strips right here. And we are gonna go ahead and press these to the dark side. Make sure that our uh, fabric strip lays nice and flat. I like to actually press from the top so that, so that I can make sure there's no creases or pleats in here. We want this to lay nice and flat. And I just love this ombre. There we go, and a little bit more. And I'm making sure these seams, you can see I'm pulling these seams to the, the colored side of the fabric. 
and I'm going side to side here to make sure that there's no creases or pleats or anything in here. So we know that we have a, a wide open strip just like this. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two strip sets like this and we're gonna put them right sides together and we're gonna sew a quarter of an inch down this top side and a quarter of an inch down the bottom side. So we're gonna sew these together in a tube and I have one here that's all sewn together. So you can see right here, I have my two colors and my white one and you flip it over and you have your two colors and your white one in the middle and then you can see my stitch line along here. So this is important because this is how we're gonna cut these blocks. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a ruler that has a 45, almost any ruler that has a 45 will work on this. And I'm gonna lay my stitch line right on that, there, this 45 right on the stitch line. And so I'm gonna find my uh, rotary cutter. Maybe I put it back in my drawer. There it is. So I'm gonna line the 45 up with my stitch line. And then I'm going to hold this down and I'm just gonna cut all the way up to the top, right up here. This part is gonna be waste, so we'll set that over here. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna slide our ruler like this up. And we're gonna put our 45 line on the top, on this stitch line up here and we're gonna kinda balance this one right at that point, and we're gonna go ahead and cut again. Now these should be eight and a half inches square. How cool is that, just from a tube? Let's cut a few more so you get the hang of this. All right, so we, had our, we have our, um, our ruler on the line up here, our 45 on the stitch line, and we're just gonna slide this back down and make sure that this strip stays straight and our 45 line stays right along our stitch line. And then we're gonna go ahead and make a cut. And we're gonna come up here and do the same thing. Now, if at any time you're cutting and you find yourself doing some kind of weird backward uh, cutting, you're not sure which way to go, flip your strip around because I'm left-handed, so I'm gonna be coming at this from this side, but you may wanna come at it from the other side because all I'm doing, I'm cut, this is a very easy cut for me. I'm just cutting straight up from the bottom and uh, both ways. And so it's, it's not awkward, it's hard. We don't want you to cut a finger off or you know lose a limb in this quilt. We just want you to go about it easy, but you gotta watch and make sure that, you're, um, that your rotary cutter isn't doing something crazy. All right, and one more I think we can get out of here. Right to the edge. All right. So let's take a look at these blocks. Now you see, I made very quick work of cutting that whole strip set into blocks. And let's take a look at these blocks because these are pretty cool. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna press this open like this. And we've got all these cool blocks. And, but what I wanted to show you is that Look at all the different colors that are in these blocks. Now these were, uh, these are ombre strips, so you're gonna get all the shades and every block. So this purple came off of this purple, but they look completely different because they're ombre. And so that makes it really fun. And because we're cutting from the top and the bottom of the strip, some of, of the green ones are gonna be big and some of the purple and pink ones are gonna be the big blocks. So. It's just fun to see how different these all look from one strip set. The ombre to me is what makes this one really, really fun. All right, so we got a bunch of blocks here. We're gonna go ahead and iron this one, just cause. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our blocks and we're gonna take a two and a half inch square right here. We're gonna draw a line on that and we're gonna put it on our strip side where the colors come together. So over here on this side, you see we already have the little colors. These sides are gonna have white. So we're gonna line these up like this and we're gonna sew straight across them on both sides. Make sure they stay lined up nice and square. And we're gonna sew right across there. Now I'll clip my thread and I'm just gonna flip this around and do the other side. 
And you're going to do this to all your blocks. All right. Now what we're going to do is we are going to just trim these off. You can use your rotary cutter or your scissors. I think my rotary cutter might have been a better call, but this is working. Trim my threads. And then I'm going to press this back. All right. So how cute is this? Isn't that fun? Fun little block. And it's fun to put them together. So let me show you how we do that. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay these out and we're going to match color to color and white to white. And so when you put them together, you want to put them together like this. So see how our little colors come together and our white comes together. And what happens, look what happens to this double block in the middle. It does this chevron thing across it. And so let me add another row here so you can see what's happening. And what's really fun is because of all the different shades in this, um, in these strips, you get all kinds of different colors and fun like that. Look how fun that is. Let's take a look at this quilt behind me. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six blocks across here. And you can see we've turned them like this. And that happens just by lining up your color here, your white here, your color here, your white here. Then we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows, six in each row. Once you get your borders on, it's going to make a quilt that's about 64 by 73. I think when the colors come together, they look a little bit like bricks and bricks in a patio. So we called it the Brickyard Quilt. And we hope you enjoyed this tutorial from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Mm -hmm.